Good morning. Hey friends, good morning. Welcome to a day in my life with five children, eight and under. My days are always super busy. Any moment I get to do something for myself, I run with it. So today I'm putting a deep treatment in my hair and hopefully I will rock it for half the day to make sure I get my hair nice and moisturized. And this is the moment when I realize that kids toothpaste does not taste very good. Starting this video a little bit later on in the day, it's around 10 a.m. and I just got done with a huge morning rush. It is definitely eventful in the morning to say the least. I only have two out of the five home with me today doing distant learning. I'll explain a little bit more later on why I chose to go about it this way, having some kids home and some kids at homework club. But after trial and error and trying many different scenarios, this seems to be working the most. With only one of me and five kids, it's really difficult to give them that one-on-one. -on -one. So I will definitely talk to you guys about it a little bit later on so you can see how I run things as far as distant learning scheduling. Today is one of my lighter days and my main focus is just to kind of catch up on some housework and laundry and make sure that my two little ones that are home today finish up all of their work that they had throughout the week that they kind of missed. Every single day I check my kids' rooms. This is how I keep up with the housework is making sure I check certain zones that get pretty messy pretty quick and my kids' rooms are definitely one of them. They leave lights on, they stuff socks under the bed, you know, there's books all over the floor. This happens all the time, and as much as I try to get them to do it before they start their school day, sometimes mama has to go in later and just tidy it up, make sure it's squared away for the rest of the day. Plus, I'm doing laundry, so I wanna gather up all those dirty socks and make sure I get the most out of my laundry today. Do you guys want some chicken bites for lunch? I have honey barbecue ones, so chicken bites. Big thanks to Teotronics for sponsoring today's video. I am an avid air fryer chef extraordinaire. Seriously, I use my air fryer almost every single day. I've had it for about a year and a half now, and I just upgraded a couple weeks ago to the Teotronics air fryer, which is a whole new ball game for me. I love it because it's consistently quick, easy to clean, and the food tastes amazing. When I cook with the Teotronics air fryer, my food contains 85% less fat than if I deep fried my food. And I still get that super yummy, crispy texture that tastes so good. It has such a modern design with 11 preset menus and 50 recipes. The incline 11 degree panel is ergonomic. Cooking with this air fryer is foolproof. If you're cooking chicken, you just click the chicken button. If you're cooking shrimp or veggies, just click the button, it's foolproof and it comes out perfect every time. Did I mention it has such a large capacity? I mean, I need that with such a big family with lots of really good eaters. It's six quarts. The wide size frying basket can easily accommodate three to six people, which is perfect for a quick crispy lunch. And there's a little bit of like a mom hack hidden gem with this air fryer. It tells you how much time you have left, which really gets my butt in gear and helps me to get on track to do some things before I serve lunch. Like I wanted to feed the animals some lunch, I wanted to clean off the table and just kind of clear everything off so that I can prepare lunch it really gets me going I don't think people really realize that it's such a hidden gem to have there be a countdown timer on the air fryer Wait. 
look at that so bomb what a pretty color it produces also i think it's so crispy and cooked to perfection because it works as an air convention system that can quickly circulate the hot air around the food to cook to perfection Mommy, I like this. You like those? Mm -hmm. is, it is it crunchy? Mm -hmm. Let's do the test crunch. Oh wow, that's crunchy. If you guys wanna try out the Teotronics, you can order it from my link down below in the description. It's such an easy and quick and efficient welcome, way babe. to make delicious food for your family. I'm actually making some waffle fries for myself and popping in some coconut shrimp because it is so crunchy in this air fryer. Mama. Check out the finished product. Yes, girl. It is so good. Again, I will leave the link to purchase down below in my description box and you can Thank me later for the non-stick metal surface that is so easy to rinse off, wipe, or even just throw in your dishwasher. I thought I'd come out here since I'm on a multitasking role and um, show you what's going on with the pool. We're building a pool if you're new to our channel and um, it's almost done, so. We came yesterday and painted the wet deck, which is a surface that is non-slippery. So it, when we get out of the pool, we don't slip and fall. Super important. And this is what the pool looks like. It's so gorgeous. We are about a week and a half away from filling it up. We want to build a wall around there so that it's, you know, not such an eyesore. I am so excited to see the lights, um, all the different colors, because we've got lots of colored lights the waterfall go I think I'm gonna cry when the waterfall <laughs> starts flowing so that's the deal girls we have about 2.5 minutes okay bye, okay, bye. <laughs> today I have to stay home the entire day because I've got a lot to do around the house like today is a straight mom in it day um, Avea, I'm sorry Elia and Lily are home today to finish up some things that they didn't get finished um, in the week in case you're curious why all five of the kids aren't here, we alternate days. So for the first three to four months of distant learning, I had all five kids home and it didn't work because um, they need a lot of help and attention because I had younger kids from kinder to third grade, um, five of them, and they need a lot of help. Well, the younger ones especially. and. It was hard for me to manage all of them, so I made a smart decision to put the kids in a homework helping type of club, but I switch off. So two of them will go one day and then the other two will stay home. Natalia is in a different program that I'm gonna to talk to you about a little bit. When Ace and Nevea are at their homework club, I have Elia and Lily home and I give them a little bit more attention. I think there's a little bit more accountability when their mom's there looking over their shoulder, popping in and out as I do um, housework, making sure that they're on track, learn more and get a better grade. So that's how it works. Tomorrow is Friday, all the kids are home, but then come Monday, the twins are gonna stay home and I'm gonna work with them while the little ones go to school, if that makes sense. We alternate, we make it work to make sure that mama gets more one-on-one -on -one time with each child and we make sure the assignments are complete as much as possible. Now, for Natalia, um, I've mentioned this on Instagram if you guys follow me there. Natalia's struggling a little bit. It just wasn't working. When the pandemic hit, we were living in California and she missed out on a huge chunk of preschool because she had to stay home. So then we moved here. Distant learning started in kindergarten. I didn't feel that um, she she wasn't like not necessarily ready. She just wasn't mature enough and she wasn't taking it seriously enough because she has not had preschool. And then she started in August um, at the new school here, distant learning kindergarten, and it, it just wasn't working. She wasn't meshing with her teacher. She wasn't taking it seriously, the whole distant learning aspect. She desperately needs an in-person learning environment like most kids right now. It's 
really sad. <laughs> I mean, I have a cute few other kids are struggling in certain subjects, but for the most part, they're grasping distant learning. But with her, it was not happening. It does not help that she barely made the cutoff for kindergarten by like three days. So she's already a very young one without a lot of preparation, um, preschool environment, and in distant learning, especially when she has a lot of older kids, that I'm trying to concentrate on them, and I, I can't give her that one-on-one -on -one attention the whole day. So we found another program for her. I put her into an in-person pre-K kindergarten readiness program which um, today is her third day and I've been, there's an app, I'm getting notifications on like pictures of her, what she ate in the day, what she's doing, what she's learning. They're taking pictures of her writing her name and like writing her letters and her numbers and these things that um, she just, oh, I can't even, I don't know. I'm gonna get emotional because I'm just so happy because I feel like she's in the right place and I'm gonna be assessing her and keeping a close eye out to make sure that she's prepared to start kinder in the fall of this year. But there is a charter school in our area that has an amazing kindergarten program and they are in person, um, unlike the public school distant learning. I don't know if I'm gonna switch the other kids yet. I don't know, but I wanted to make sure I had options for this fall coming 2021 school year. It's gonna happen really quick. So we have the option to go to a charter school in person if I feel like that's gonna be a right fit. I don't know if they're all gonna go or maybe just Tolly's gonna go or maybe Tolly and a couple other kids that are struggling in other subjects. I don't know, I will definitely keep you posted, but I wanted to get them in the lottery and just in case so I can have that option. Okay, let's move on with the day. You guys good? All right, y'all, back to the grind. The kiddos are in their afternoon sessions and I'm just trying to make sure they're good to go and have all the tools that they need for this afternoon. And then shortly I'm gonna sneak in and fold a quick load of laundry before I join them for their PE session. When the kids are home, I love joining in on their PE session with them because it just kind of makes a nice break in the day where we're always not just like hustle, hustle, working. We can have a little moment where we can have a little bit of fun together. It's so fun. And then when we're done here, I'm going to sneak in, take a shower and wash this deep conditioning oil treatment out of my hair, get my hair done so I can get back to what I need to do. <laughs> All right, fresh out of the shower, mama is doing her hair. I recently discovered this hair dryer brush. Amazon, Target, Walmart, Ulta, they all had like thousands of thousands of good reviews and I was like you know what I should probably try this because I don't want to flat iron my hair too much because it's super damaging and maybe about once a week I usually do flat iron my hair so I wanted a good alternative so this blow dryer brush is so good it works so well it's not like pin straight flat iron would be but it's close enough and i like to put a little bit of argan oil on the ends and just a little bit throughout the hair and a little bit on top because i have some uh, flyaways on top as well I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but another reason why I did not leave the house today is because I had a lot of deliveries come in, like six or seven. Look at these adorable pillowcases. I'm getting in. ready to do a surprise makeover on Avea's room. Yay! Yay! So, Mommy and Avea are the Oh Lord. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. I'm really How was your day? Uh, good. good. How was your Good. Have a seat, bud. Let's go home and have dinner, yeah? Yeah, I'm really hungry. You hungry? We did not eat dinner. Wait, did you guys did you guys cook dinner? Not yet. Cole went out to my bed and then he cuddled up and went to sleep since I got a new red blanket. Yeah, he loves it. Okay, so we are home from homework club. Hi, Bae. Hi. How was your day? Good. Yeah? Hi, Tali. How was your day? I 
daycare. Good. She's in pre-K. Pre-K. Daddy's here. Hi, Daddy. Daddy! No! <laughs> Daddy ordered Pizza Hut. You had pizza last night, and we have it again. No! <laughs> so this is a good time to just close out the video. We're gonna have some family time and eat dinner and start the bedtime routine. But thank you guys so much for following me on this day in the life, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh, looky, looky, looky.